the truth about Eli Bundia, Eli Elander Bossino Bundia, born November 2, 1970, popularly known as Eli Bundia, is a Filipino musician, author and film director who gained fame as the guitarist, lead vocalist and principal songwriter of the famed Filipino rock band, The Eraserheads. Widely regarded as a legendary musical icon in the country, his songs continue to amass remarkable commercial success and critical acclaim, topping various music charts and leaving behind an enduring legacy in Philippine popular culture. He currently performs as the guitarist and singer-songwriter of the band, The Partal. Personal life, Bunia was born in his parents' home in Naga City at 6.20 a.m. on November 2, 1970. He is the second child of Eli Revilla Bundia, born C. 1942 in Goa, Camarines Sir, and Lisetta Ruiz Barcino, March 22, 1942 in Caramoan, Camarines Sir, August 28, 2008 in Manila. His parents were married on October 30, 1964 in Ragi, Camarines Sir. He first learned Kundaman from his mother while he started playing the guitar at the age of seven years old. Bundia finished his elementary grades in Pasig Catholic College, Pasig, in 1983 in high school in University of Perpetual Help, Rizal. Bundia later enrolled in the University of the Philippines, Balaman where he formed several bands like Blue Witty Trist and Sunday School, and finally the Eraserheads. Bundia has two children, Una Maria, with his first wife, Vicky Cayago, and Ian Drake, with pupil co-manager Diane Ventura. He had a relationship with Andy Trinidad of Mega Magazine and reportedly dated TV5 news anchor and model Sean Yao. Eraserheads, 1989 to 2002. In December 1989, Eli Bundia, Raymond Marasigan, Marcus Adaro and Buddy Zamala formed their band, The Eraserheads, in the University of the Philippines Dilemon, where Bundia majored in film at the College of Mass Communications, he began his first year in college in 1987. The band found that they weren't good at covering other people's hits, so they focused on writing their own material instead. In 1991, Bunya explained, After all, if we committed a mistake no one would recognize it since they don't know the song, right? Performing their original songs before live audiences soon earned them a cult following within the university, that gradually spread outside the campus. One of the songs, a pop song entitled Pair Code, which Bunya wrote, caused a stir, partly because of the lyrics that included swear words. The Eraserheads eventually signed a three-year deal with BMG Pilipinas. Their debut album, Ultra Electromagneto Pop, featured no less than the chart-topping pair co and a host of other novelty pieces that had people listening and discovering more about the quartet. The album also brought the fledgling underground college rock scene to public awareness. 1993 saw the emergence of Eraserhead's mania because of their success of hit singles, sold-out concerts and thousands of fans. Bunia continued to write songs for the band, many of which became hit singles and band classics. Eraserheads lasted for 10 years before finally breaking up with Bundia and Adaro's departure. During its 10-year stint, the band produced eight studio albums along with other EPs and singles. Their gigs took them out of the country, with tours in the United States and other countries. One album, Aloha Milky Way, was released in the Asia-Pacific region. Eraserheads were also the first ever Filipino act to receive the Moon Man Trophy for winning the 1997 MTV Asia Viewers Choice Award for the music video of their hit song, Ang Huling El Bimbo. The latter was also written by Bundia, among many which the band released. Leaving the Eraserheads, after weeks of speculation, it was confirmed that Bundia had left the band in mid-March 2002 for reasons unknown. However, in subsequent interviews, Bundia referred to business matters as the cause of the band's breakup. In an interview, Morasikan said he was eating in SM Megamall, a local shopping mall, when he heard of the news, how he heard of it, was not clear. He said he was semi-surprised and wondered if Zamala already knew about it. Adaro told of the story now famous among Eraserheads fans about Bunia's cryptic SMS text message. He said Bunia sent in the text message that it's already time to graduate. Adaro quipped in the same interview that Bunia's being the first to graduate was natural, since he was in batch 1987 in the UP, Dialamon, while they were in batch 1988. Zabala confessed in an interview that disbanding was not far from the members' minds. He mentioned that there were many occasions where they could have disbanded but they did not. Adaro expressed the belief of some people that the band was getting too old and that it was selfish for the band to continue, likely referring to comments about how it's time for other bands besides Eraserheads to shine. The band made it clear, though, that Bunia's departure from the band wasn't in any way violent and there was no shouting, sigoin, or any confrontation. Without giving up, the three remaining original Eraserheads decided to continue on. 
Within just a few weeks, the new heads debuted at the local Hard Rock Cafe in Makati on April 19 featuring a female singer-guitarist, Chris Gora Dancel from the band, Fatal Posporos. However, after a few months, Adaro quit the band as well. The remaining members of Eraserheads, Morasigan and Zabala, thereafter added Diego Mapa and Ibe Dancel to their lineup and renamed their band, Cambio. The Eraserheads went on stage staged a reunion concert on August 30, 2008 at the Ford Open Field, Togwig, but which was cut short unexpectedly. The continuation of the concert was held at the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds on March 7, 2009. 2003 present, The Mongols, after Eli's departure from the Eraserheads, he would invite musicians and jam together. He had no definite lineup at that time, I have, like, 10 members in the band right now. I have two drummers, two bass players. According to Eli in an interview with Martin Yavera. This jamming together with friends would eventually evolve into the Mongols. It was composed of guitarist Jay Astro, also known as Jerome Velasco, of The Teeth, bassist Ian Uzon, drummer Boggs Bogan and Jugo, of the indie pop band Daydream Cycle, and Bunya on guitars and vocals, under the stage name Jesus Dizzy Ventura. The band was managed by De Cabuhat, one of Eraserhead's former managers. According to one of Eraserhead's event producers, Eli's Jesus stage name was from an inside joke during Eraserhead's US tour. Eli and Marcus bought replica sheriff badges at the Universal Studios Hollywood and Eli got a badge with the name Jesus while Marcus was Caesar. The Mongols released a self-produced underground EP in CDR format with factory printed sleeves in April 2003, a fraction of a second. It contains five tracks, Case Logic, No, Tomorrowland, KSP and Abstraction of a Second. It was released under Red Room Records. After a few months, the Mongols decided to have their self-produced album distributed by Neo Records incorporated under the major label Viva Records. The result is a 13-track album called Buddha's Pest. Its tracks include Keeper, Black Bull, Bucketing Aba, Pony, Tikamuna, Candy Flip, Heroin, Wig Out, It's Over, Irish Spring, Odd Even, Your Bushido, plus an untitled instrumental track. It was produced by the Genghis Clan under Criminal Records. Pupil, main article, Pupil, band. Shortly after the Mongols guitarist, Jay Astro, left the band, the remaining members renamed their group Pupil. Bunya chanced upon the band name while reading a medical book. The band gained mainstream popularity, in contrast to the Mongols. Boggs left the band after their first album Beautiful Machines, and was succeeded by Wendell Garcia. Pupil's guitarist Yanni Uzon also left the band in 2013. De Cabu had Pupil's manager announced that Yanni is no longer. Transitions and changes are normal within any band structure and we all thank you for the understanding and continued support of all of our projects. The Octaves The band consists of Eli Bundia as the frontman, Naitoy Adriano as the lead guitarist, Chris Padilla also on guitars, Ivan Garcia on bass and Bobby Padilla on drums. Naitoy Adriano is a former member of quintessential Filipino rock band The Jerks. They are the original alternative and blues band of the Philippines. Current and past members are considered icons in the local music scene, MCA Music, Inc. said. Chris Padilla, Bobby Padilla and Ivan Garcia are actually a three-piece rockabilly group called Hylera. They may be new players in the scene compared to the other two members but they have already made quite an impact by winning the Nescape Sound School competition in 2005 and by being nominated and winning various rock awards, MCA added. How the band was formed, MCA Music, Inc. said, the members have collaborated several times before most notably when Hylera took part in the production of Bunia's project with Francis Magalona entitled In Love and War. However, the band was officially formed almost exactly a year ago when they first went on stage as octaves when they performed at the inaugural Esquire, magazine, Ball. The collaboration turned into a headlining band which now plays in the best rock venues in the country. They now have a repertoire of original songs and also perform a good number of classic rock anthems. Octave's brand of music is straight up rock and roll. Their music is very relatable to various audiences of different generations. Whilst their sound is classy and sophisticated, they are also very appealing to the mainstream crowd, MCA Music Inc. said. Their first album was the self-titled album The Octaves that has 12 tracks including their first single KUPL, KPL, their another single Peki at Ka Pa Lang, Kababa Narako and the song Bungo Sa Bangin by Eli Bunya Feet. Turbo Goth and Papi Smith from the album Rock Rizal, an album tribute for Jose Rizal, it consists of various artists including Eli Bundia. In 2016, Bundia launched a new band with Jay Ortega, of DRT, Nash, Wally Gonzalez, 
Inters, which is primarily focused on soul music, R&B, funk, and semblances of jazz. Bundia met Ortega during the latter's launch of his bar and cafe called Spin Cafe. The two later collaborated and started to form a group, with members and contributors Pat Sarabia, drums, Coco Koo, guitars, RJ Pineta, keyboards, Reg Concepcion, guitars, Louis Talon, bass, Carissa Ramos, bass, D. Rodriguez, percussion, Roxy Modesto, saxophone, Wowie Ansano, trumpet, Parms Tupas, trombone, Joseph Cabanero, saxophone, Donna Sagan Senarin, harp and backup vocals, and Ramon Rodriguez, backup vocals. Buddy Zamala, bass, Matoy Adriano, guitars, Cookie Kua, backup vocals, Wendell Garcia, drums, and the group Bras Pa Pa Pa, horns, also shared their expertise to the band's album tracks. Entitled Interplay, the band's first album was released digitally on September 29, 2016. The double album 45 RPM's vinyl version was manufactured in Japan, and the band opted not to release in CD format due to piracy and decreasing number of CD users, which was released on November 12, 2016 at the Hi-Fi Show, Dasatani Hotel. Interplay will be released under Bundia and Ortega's own record label called Offshore Music. According to Bundia in an interview with Mike's, their band name was inspired by the 1980s new wave band, The Motels. However, according to Bundia, the Pardal's sound is a tribute to 1970s music, such as Stax Records, Motown, Manila Sound, APO Hiking Society, VST and & Company, and Rico J. Puno. The band launched its first music video for their single Is It Hip? on September 17, 2016, in Victoria Court, Malate, and was directed by Marie Jamora and produced by Articulo and O Productions. The band also covers songs from its influences such as Sly and Family Stone's Thank You For Talking To Me Africa. The band released Interplay, Remixes, in 2017. Its latest album, Full Flood, was released in 2018. Health On January 7, 2007, Eli Bunia suffered a heart attack or acute myocardial infarction secondary to arterial blockage. It began when Bunia complained about finding it a bit hard to breathe while they were on the way to a gig in Laguna. But he dismissed it as mere heartburn. After some time, Bunia was reportedly in the middle of a song during a gig in Palamba, Laguna when he felt a sudden pain in his chest and left arm. He was rushed to an intensive care unit at the Asian Hospital and Medical Center in Alabang, Mani Lupa. It turns out that he'd been having a heart attack for the last 25 hours. According to ex heads manager Jessica Zafra, doctors performed an angiogram on the frontman and it confirmed the heart attack as two of his arteries were blocked. Bunia's condition was confirmed stable after an emergency angioplasty operation headed by Dr. Benji Luna during the same night. According to Doc Sergio, Eli is fine, successful young surgery last night. Last night's surgery was a success. The second angioplasty operation conducted on Eli Bunia on January 10, 2007 was successful and is secured from having heart attack recurrence. The operation was a super success. He is totally out of danger and heart attack recurrence is not expected. According to Bunia's attending physician and cardiac surgeon, Dr. Wilfred D. On behalf of Pupil, Ms. De Cabua and Diane Ventura gave major thanks to everyone who called, visited and expressed their concerns to Bunia's conditions such as fans, writers, editors, media, sponsors, networks, producers, and most especially to local musicians such as Yael Yuzon, Jab Sergio, Francis Magalona, Parakya Na Edgar, Kamokazi, Kiko Machine, Menaya, Rico Blanco, Urban Dub, Buddy Zabala, Marcus Adaro and many others. Bunia was finally released from hospital and was allowed to stay home and rest by his doctors by the night of January 15, 2007. I've got a bionic heart now, joked by Bundia. This event prompted rap artist Francis Magalona, a longtime friend of Bundia and the other eraser heads, to state the following in his personal blog site, fast forward to right now, 9.58 am, January 9th, a lot of what-if scenarios pop in my head. What if the E-Heads members are back, like long-lost blood brothers? What if the most significant OPM band of Pinoy Rock would be in one room, what would happen? And in postscript he adds, Parasara Kin Panahan na para mag reunite ngi heads. Siugod na mg ekapated. Rock and roll na hangang maga. Which roughly translates, for me, it's time for e heads to reunite. Let's go brothers. Rock and roll until the morning comes. Eli's first on-stage public appearance after his heart attack was on Saturday 10 February 2007 as his band, Pupil, performed at the Music Hall in SM Mall of Asia, in an Animax event called Love is in the Air. 
the event featured a speed dating event as a welcome celebration for Valentine's Day and live performances from other local artists such as Kalawali and Amber. Pupil is also part of Super Proxy Jam. It is an event that is hoping to spread awareness for the importance of cardiovascular health and for the benefit of the Hardest Foundation Incorporated. Francis Magalona and the Hardware Syndrome, Parakya Edgar, Glock 9, Dick the License, Pi Cassell, and Dice and Mobstar are also participants in the said event. Hardest Foundation Incorporated is another collaborative effort between Eli Bundia and Francis Magalona that aims to help Filipino artists with health problems. TV and films, aside from starring with Eraserheads in the movie Run Barbie Run, Eli played a cameo role in Rufa May Quinto's movie entitled Mazikip Sa Dibda where he was playing and singing Keeper by the Mongols in a live stage set with audiences going wild and enjoying the music. Bunya has once again showed his acting skills as he's part of Saab Megalona's short film Spoonfeed, it also stars Jamie Fabregas, CCIA Esto Copio, and Saab Megalona herself. Eli graced the opening rights for Dakota Simonella on October 16, 2008. The event also marked Eli's comeback in the industry after his operation. A 13-minute indie film entitled Waiting Shed was produced by Simonella's Anima and Tikoi Agavus and was shown as part of Simonella's Sign Barangay. The film was directed by Eli Bundia, making it his first. Waiting Shed premiered with Marcus Adaro's indie film The Artist Is In. Eli Bunia was chosen by MTV Philippines as a voice actor in the Filipino version of MTV Asia's intersection animated film. It is also a campaign of MTV Exit and USAID Against Exploitation and Trafficking, which features soundtrack from Radiohead and Thievery Corporation. Other voice actors are Ann Curtis, Ding Dong Dantes, Epi Quizen, and Gali and Carvanyal. He guested as Dave, the older brother of Chris Bronner, in Manny Pacquiao's comedy sitcom, Show Me Da Manny. In the later part of the show, Bunia performed Disconnection Notice with his band Pupil. The episode was aired on September 13, 2009. He appeared in the Metro Manila Film Festival Best Picture Manila Kingpin, The Asin Salonga Story, as well as the artist of the soundtrack. He won Best Theme Song in the recent MMFF Awards. He also appeared in the indie film Rock and Roll As Himself. Eli Bunia directed the indie film entitled Bang Bang Alley, starring Megan Young, Gabe Mercado, Jimmy Santos. Arthur Acuna, and Bella Padilla. 